Now to conduct your conjoint pairs surveys as part of your Delphi study, you'll be using the All Our Ideas uh, research tool. So you'll need to go to the All Our Ideas website and create an account. Um, we're also going to take you through a practice process for this uh, using a survey that I've already set up for you, where you will uh, contribute options um, and then once everyone has contributed enough options, we'll then go through the voting process. So it's important that you don't start voting until everyone has a chance, had a chance to contribute some options. Now, this contribution process is not what you will be doing as part of your assignment. You will actually come up with the options that your participants are going to vote between. Um, or choose between and develop their ranked consensus. So we're doing a slightly different approach just to show you this other technique. But for your Delphi survey, you will create two or our ideas surveys, um, each with the 10 options that you are going to have your participants um, make choices between. And the survey tool will then present them with pairs of options and they'll choose between those pairs and it will produce then a ranked list of um, those options from the one most um, that participants have felt most answers your research question to the one they felt least answers your research question. And then they'll do that in a second round after you show them the results of the first round. So that's how your Delphi um, study will be conducted. So the challenge of that is you need to find 10 participants. That the, the survey process is quite simple and straightforward. So um, go to the practice Delphi survey and contribute your um, possible responses to the research question which is looking at which educational technology will have the greatest impact over the next five years. I've put two in there already, uh, virtual reality and artificial intelligence, and you'll add some more. Other participants in the course will also add their ideas. So it's important though that you don't add ideas that anyone else has already added. So in order to stop that happening, um, before you add your own contribu contributions, Click on the view results tab in the top right hand corner and it will show you the list of current ideas that have been contributed. Then go back to cast votes and on the add idea option, um, <coughs> you can then add your new ideas. Once everyone has contributed, so in the week following, we'll then go through and vote on these ideas to show you how the voting process works. Now you can set up your own all our idea um, surveys and try this out yourself and just see how the tool works. Um, and then of course you'll then develop your um, surveys for your Delphi study that you'll conduct with your participants. And we'll discuss how the tool works in the tutorial.